Hello everyone, welcome to Rasa's Classroom. Today we are solve a nice exponential math problem, which is x over 2 whole to the power 6 is equal to 3 to the power 6. We'll find out x is equal to what in this German Math Olympiad question. So how to solve this interesting exponential math Olympiad question. So let's start. Solution. Our question, it will be x over 2 whole to the power 6 is equal to 3 to the power 6. This is our question. Now, at this moment, you can see silly here, a over v whole to the power n, if I apply this exponential law, we know that it will be a to the power n over b to the power n. According to this formula, I can see that this expression, it will be x to the power 6 over 2 to the power 6 is equal to 3 to the power 6. Here is n is equal to 6. Now, at this moment, I can see this expression, it will be x to the power 6 over 2 to the power 6 times 2 to the power 6 is equal to 3 to the power 6 times 2 to the power 6. I multiply both sides by 2 to the power 6. Here is 2 to the power 6. I take here is 2 to the power 6. Now, this, this cancel out. I can say this expression. It will be x to the power 6 is equal to, you know that the exponential law a to the power n times b to the power n, it will be a b whole to the power n. According to this law, I can say this easily. Here is exponent is same. So it will be 3 times 2 whole to the power 6. Now, at this moment, I can say this, this expression. It will be x to the power 6 is equal to 2 times 3. It will be 6 to the power 6. Now, at this moment, we know that a to the power n is equal to b to the power n. Here is exponent is equal, so a is equal to v. According to exponential law, this law, I can say here is x is equal to 6. This is our final answer in this math problem. Because of that, here is exponent is same. But here is x to the power 6. So we'll find out here is 6 root, but we'll find out here is a 1 real root. It is 6, x is equal to 6. But others 5 root, at this moment we'll find out. So let's start. Here is x to the power 6. So you can see this x to the power 6, it will be others 5 root, we'll find out at this moment. It will be x to the power 3 times 2. And if I move on this between this side, it's okay, no problem. Here is 6, 6 to the power 3 times 2. Now, look, 3 times 2 will be 6, 3 times 2 will be 6. Now, at this moment, according to exponential law, we know that a to the power n, m, it will be a to the power n, whole to the power m. According to this law, I can say this expression, it will be x to the power 3, whole to the power 2 is equal to 6 to the power 3 whole to the power 2. According to this law, this 2 times 3 will be 6. Now, at this moment, if I move on this below in this side, it is positive. When I move on this below in this side, it is obviously negative. So, I can say that it will be x to the power 3 whole to the power 2 minus x 6 to the power 3 whole to the power 2 is equal to 0. Now, at this point, if you think this is a, this is v. So note that a square minus v square, it will be a plus b times a minus b. According to this formula, I can say really here, a is x to the power 3, b is 6 to the power 3 times, and here, a is x to the power 3, b is 6 to the power 3 is equal to zero. I mean, a plus b times a minus b. Now, at this moment, we we'll find out here is two case. Our first case, it will be x to the power 3 plus 6 to the power 3 
is equal to zero and we'll find out other case it will be x to the power three minus six to the power three it is also zero now here is six root three root and this is three root we'll find out here is six root now at this moment we know that a cube plus v cube so uh, according to this formula i mean a cube plus v cube we know that it will be a plus b times a square minus a b plus v square according to this formula i consider this expression it will be x plus 6 i mean a plus b times a square i mean x square minus a b 6 times x it will be 6x plus v square i mean 6 squared will be 36 is equal to 0 yes and others case you know that a cube minus v cube it will be a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square i solve this question step by step i use i write down all formula now here x minus 6 times and here s square plus a b plus b square it will be x square plus a b 6 times x it will be 6x plus b square i mean 6 squared will be 36 is equal to 0 now at this moment we we'll find out here is three case four case first second third and fourth case so we know that here is x plus 6 is equal to 0 it's okay and other formula here is x square minus 6x plus 36 is equal to 0 and here x minus 6 is equal to 0 and other formula it will be x square plus 6x plus 36 is equal to 0 it's okay now you can see easily here x is equal to minus 6 yes we are find out x1 it will be minus 6 and here x is equal to what so if i compare this equation it will be a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero so we know that here is a it will be one b it will be negative six and c it will be 36 now you can see easily here x it will be minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a so at this moment you can see really here x it will be x it will be minus b b is negative 6 i take here is negative 6 plus minus square root v square i mean negative 6 all to the power 2 minus 4 ac a is 1 but c is 36 over 2a a is 1 now you can see really here x it will be positive 6 minus minus it will be positive 6 plus minus square root 36 minus 6 power is even number it is always positive number it will be 36 minus 4 times 36 it will be 144 over 2 times 1 it will be 2 now at this moment if i evaluate this expression it will be x is equal to 6 plus minus square root we know that 144 minus 36 it will be minus 108 over 2. now you can see really here x it will be 6 plus minus square root 36 times 3 times minus 1 over 2 look here is 36 times 3 it will be 108 and i take here is negative 1 it is a complex number it is an imaginary number here is 6 plus minus square root 36 it will be 6 and here is square root 3 and square root negative 1 it will be i over 2 we know that square root 36 it will be 6 square root 3 it will be square root 3 square root negative 1 it will be i it is a complex number then if i separate this fraction it will be 6 over 2 plus minus 6 square root 3 i over 2 then you can see really here x it will be 3 plus minus 6 divided 2 it will be 3 square root 3i we are find out it is 2 and 3 x 2 and 3 and we are find out our final answer first of all answer our real part 
x is equal to negative 6 x1 and x2 x3 this is our answer so x4 is equal to what or x5 x6 okay now we're finding out here is others two case it will be x is equal to 6 here so this is our 4 x4 it will be 6 but here x to the power 2 plus 6 x plus 36 is equal to 0 it is a nice quadratic equation i consider this expression it will be x square plus 36 x plus 36 is equal to 0. now you can see here x it will be minus b b is 6 plus minus square root b square so v it will be 6 square minus 4 ac is 1 c is 36 over 2. now you can see easily it will be x is equal to minus 6 plus minus square root 108 over 2. then you can see easily here x it will be minus 6 plus minus and square root negative 108 it will be 6 root 3i so i can see that it will be 6 root 3i over 2 then here x it will be 6 divided 2 it will be minus 3 plus minus 6 divided 2 it will be 3 square root 3i this is 5 and 6 so we are find out 6 answer our first answer x1 it will be negative 6 x2 it will be i take positive 6 it's no problem and here x um, 2 and 3 uh, i take this value it will be 4 is okay and 2 it will be 3 plus 3 square root 3i and x 3 it will be 3 minus 3 square root 3i and x 5 i take here is x 4 x 5 it will be th minus 3 plus 3 square root 3i and x 6 it will be minus 3 minus 3 square root 3 i this is our here is i this is our final answer in this mass olympiad question here is 6 root thank you all if you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care